Hi, I'm Dr. Annadale, and our text for today is On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. This is one of the most important texts in modern science, and one that is more commented on than read. Uh, in this video, I simply want to talk about the structure of the origin and the, why, uh, the reasons it's written in the way it is. The first edition of The Origin was published in 1859 in 14 chapters, 491 pages. And to understand the structure that Darwin gives to it, I think you need to know something about the inductive method of Sir John Herschel, who was a friend and contemporary of Darwin, a man whom he respected very much. According to Herschel, proposed scientific causes must be vera causae, true causes, and there is a three-step process for identifying the true cause of any phenomenon. The first is to show that the cause exists, or can be speculated to exist, by analogy with existing causes. The second step is to examine all cases of the phenomenon that we have observed and verify that our proposed cause is able to explain them. This is the step of verifying our cause by its adequacy. Third step is to extend the application of the cause to new fields, to push its application to extreme cases. This is verifying the universality or consilience of the cause. So, if for Darwin, the phenomenon under investigation is the appearance of adaptation in nature. Uh, living beings seem to be well adapted to their environment. They have the kind of teeth, the kind of claws necessary to the kind of lives that they live. The mechanism that Darwin proposes is natural selection, which operates by natural variation, competition for resources, and differential rates of survival and reproduction. So if Darwin is following Herschel's inductive logic, he will have to show first that natural selection exists or can be posited to exist by analogy with existing causes. Secondly, that natural selection is adequate to explain the appearance of adaptation in nature that we have observed, that it accounts for the known facts. And third, that natural selection is responsible for, or explains, other phenomena in nature that were not initially in front of us when we formed the theory, that it can be extended beyond its initial explanatory range. Now if we take a look at the structure of the origin with these three things in mind, we can begin to make sense of how this 491-page uh, text is organized. In chapters 1 through 3, Darwin makes an extended analogy of natural selection to artificial selection, which is the selective breeding of plants and animals by human beings. What he's doing here is addressing this first step. He's showing the cause, natural selection, by analogy to a cause that is known to exist and to function uh, in our lives. Chapters 4 and 5, I believe, Darwin is setting out the adequacy of natural selection. He is arguing that natural selection is able to explain the variety and adaptation of species in front of us. Uh, then Darwin takes a brief pause in this Herschelian logic, and in chapters 6 through 9, for about 150 pages, almost a third of the total book length, he spends time addressing uh, anticipated objections to his theory. And since the book attracted many objections, including objections from Herschel himself, when it was published, this may have been a wise course. But in chapter 10, in chapters 10 through 13, Darwin returns to the order set out by Herschel and gives us applications of his uh, mechanism of natural selection to new areas. And he tries to show that there are new and surprising results to be found when we extend this, results from embryology, morphology, geographical distribution, which serve to confirm our sense that natural selection is in fact the true cause of the appearance of adaptation in nature. So as you're reading through the origin, please keep in mind this threefold uh, criteria for a true cause that Darwin is borrowing from Herschel. The existence of the cause, the adequacy of the cause to explain observations, and the universality or consilience of the cause as applied to new and different cases. Thanks for watching today.